Oh yeah, I like it like that. And uh, I'm so excited to speak with Jen Lewis from Clay Hill Farm directly. Jen, welcome to Shutter. Good morning. Good Happy morning. snowy morning. Um, we just, we had a couple questions for you, um, sure. and I don't even know the answer to this. So I really would love to know how did your family come to own and operate Clay Hill Farm? How long ago, and how did that all go down? My family actually took over in um, 86. Um, and then I joined the team in 93. I was working at a radio station and I was I in sales. Not, so, no. <laughs> yeah. So I had a sales and a counseling background. Um, and that's how I got into weddings. They kind of come together for that. So I yeah. went to work for them in, um, in 93 and started the wedding department. And I've been there ever since. Uh, right. I was just going to say, you do all the gardening, right? We do. My dad did it for years. Um, and it, you know, it, we're the first restaurant in the country to be certified as a wildlife habitat and a bird sanctuary. Ah. So that worked really well because um, we could keep it natural. And so he did a lot of the landscaping. We have sections that we try to make more, um, you know, more picture perfect. But for the most part, sorry about my dog. Um, for the most part, it's all natural. And that's the way that we've, we've tried to keep it and, and maintain it. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I've definitely noticed the birds and the wildlife there. I, I've seen that your um, bird feeders around. And then I'd only, I only noticed at the last time I was there, flying squirrels, flying. Right? There. It was amazing. You know, it's funny because the flying squirrels are so cute when, um, when yeah, you're fine. a guest, they are <laughs> yeah. not cute. I bet. Um, they, eat all yeah, your they are such a menace, but they are, they're really cool to watch. And there's, um, there's over 150 birdhouses on the <clears> property. <throat> so um, there's always a lot of activity. We call it the live entertainment. Um, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. But what's cool about the, the birdhouses too, is that we have a lot of, um, so through the years, we've had a lot of either customers that um, wanted to have a place to memorialize a loved one that loved Clay Hill. Um, we have a lot of couples, a lot of our wedding couples have brought in birdhouses to have a special place. Oh, that they can back oh, in. What? So it's, yeah. So the outside, even though a lot of times when people come to the restaurant, they don't see all that's Clay Hill. You know, they don't, they come in, they, they drop off their car, they come in, they have dinner, they get back in their car and off they go. But the weddings really get to experience all mm -hmm. that's the hill by, by being outside. And, and that's a really special part of, um, of who we are and what we're about. So um, there's all sorts of, there's a lot of history there, but there's a lot of history in the birdhouses as well. Oh my that's God. Adorable. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm so glad yeah. we're talking to her. Oh, yeah. So are you, do you have enough birdhouses now or are you inviting your couples of 2022 in the next years to bring you their own personalized birdhouses that represent them, their <laughs> wedding and Clay Hill Farm? I know, okay. Yes, they sure can. Yep. And it's, it's nice to have a spot. I mean, they come back, our couples, one of the things we love about the fact that we're a restaurant, we can be the place that they come back and celebrate their anniversaries. Um, and now that we have igloos, we can do it year round, which is really cool where they can be outside um, and really experience all the different parts and pieces that they were able to experience during their wedding. So um, if they want to be outside in the winter, they can, um, they can rent one of the igloos and be out on the deck. If they want to be at the table that they had as their head table, they can do that. So a lot of our couples have made coming back for their anniversary dinner part of their lives oh, together. Yeah. Right. So to uh, have a space outside or a little thing to go and visit um, that represents them and becomes their personal space is really cool for us. That is, it, that's amazing. I did not know that either. So, so speaking of igloos, you do winter weddings. I do. And do. yeah, do they, do, do they ever have the ceremonies outside or is it? They inside? do. It depends. I mean, it depends on the couple, of course, and it depends on their guests. Um, mm -hmm. We had a, a wedding one year that the couple were dog sledders. Mm -hmm. So they had all their dogs. No it was so cool. 
they had all their dogs there and um, they wanted to have the ceremony out in the middle of the big lawn, but it was just too dangerous for a lot of the guests. There's a snow and ice and everything. So, um, so we had it right in the, in the center of kind of the, um, the parking lot. So it was all plowed and then the dogs could be there too. So it was really cool. Did they have sleds or just they didn't have sleds for the wedding, but they, yeah. that was what they, they did. They were dog sledders. So outside being outside was a really big part of their relationship. A lucky photographer. That's all I have to say. I wish it was me. I love different weddings like that. You too. Oh my I gosh. love seeing all the different weddings through your lens. You are just, you're amazing. You're uh, amazing. I don't do enough. Actually, I, I haven't been there in a, quite a long time. We have to change that. You've been there, Lexi, too. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, we just did that winter wedding together, though. Yeah, I you know. were just there the other day, Kim. Yeah, I just, I just finished. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we were just. I, we were just I, know, I know that. I meant before that. <laughs> and um, it's never but... enough, Jennifer. It's just never enough. <laughs> glad. Well, you've been doing it since '93. You said. I mean, it shows. Long time. Oh. <laughs> It does right here. Uh, right uh, here. What's your capacity for weddings when you have a couple come in and they say, how many people can we have there? We can seat up to 220 inside and we can tent up to 200 outside. So, um, so there are a lot of options and we can do um, dip all the sizes in between. You know, really we say from two to 200 because elopements are very popular now too. Um, so you know, we can really tailor the property and the parts and pieces of the property to the couple and, um, oh, and help them with whatever size. Oh, that's so cute. Just for the couple. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, COVID changed everything too. And so smaller okay. weddings became, yeah, became um, pretty popular elopements and things like that. A lot of couples were eloping for the ceremony and then doing a big party after. So, you yeah. know, it, it, there's always um, in any industry, you always have to kind of adapt with the times, of course, and um, mm. and we're in very different times. Um, but you know, it's coming back, which is great. Um, so, Jennifer, what are the different packages that you offer? I know that you have Sunday weddings, Friday night weddings, Saturday night weddings, and and those are quite different. Right, we do daytime and evening. The big difference for us, because we're a restaurant, is when um, it, every wedding that we do is exclusive. So we always want the couple to be the only ones there with their guests. So they really get that feel of, of course, you know, yeah. welcome to my 10 acre farm. Mm -hmm. um, so at night we have different, uh, we have different price points because they need to shut the restaurant down to the public. Yeah. Yeah. So for daytime, they have the property private until four in the afternoon. And then in the evening um, they can pick their own six hour time frame. So they could do day into night where they come and get ready and um, turn the place into their before, you know, I've had, um, I've had couples that uh, or brides and their entourage that have turned it into a spa in the morning. So they come in, they get a massage, they get ready there and they have the ceremony and, and the reception. Um, so they can, we can tailor the packages to whatever time frame, but our pricing is tagged to the time frame that they choose. Mm -hmm. I see. So is it less expensive on a Sunday or in the winter time? Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yep. Our, um, our pricing is also based on, on what the restaurant would bring in, you know, an income guarantee of food and beverage minimum. So mm -hmm. those are definitely different on Friday or Sunday or different times of year versus Saturday night in season. Mm -hmm. And you, you don't tell want us about the food. We yeah. tell us about the chef and your menu oh, because sure. it's really Love good. It. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Um, well, we call it classic coastal cuisine. And um, so it's it, it can be really, we try to tailor it a little bit to the couple. We have our own um, kind of our standards and, um, you know, our favorites. And we have packages that they can choose from that, um, you know, that come with three or four courses. Uh, that come with some of the amenities that they would need outside of Clay Hill that we can coordinate for them. Um, but for the most part, what's nice about being a restaurant is that we can say to them, 
you know, come on in, try us. You'll get a sense of our uh, our commitment to local, our passion for seasonality. And then we can always tweak the menus. We can customize it to something that they, um, if they're interested in something that they don't see on our menus, we can usually tailor it to, you know, to their style while still staying true to ours. We try not to let them, you know, get a too far afield because that's not who we are. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, to come in and have kind of um, a completely different cuisine that wouldn't be putting our best foot forward if it's something we hadn't done. But we do that. Having been said, we love to be creative. So we love when um, when couples have different visions that we can really kind of um, that we can play around and and, you know, be creative and playful and all of that. So just like Kim was saying, we love when things are a little different. Yeah. 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 But one of the things that's been really um, another trend that that um, that has worked out really well is to be part of. So we can put together whole wedding weekends for couples. We can do the um, you know the rehearsal dinner and the welcome party and then the wedding and then the farewell brunch wow. and kind of a Sunday fun day um, game day send off after the wedding, and that's really worked out well because when we meet with couples, we can say. These are the parts and pieces of your wedding weekend that we can help you with. We can be as involved or not involved as you need us to be. Mm -hmm. And so um, the welcome party has really kind of become one of our niches. We, um, We can do their rehearsal dinner so, so what ends up happening is they'll do a rehearsal dinner for maybe 35 or 40, have a private room and all that. And then all their guests that are coming into town come over and it turns into this big welcome party. And because we have so much space, it works great. So they can do an intimate dinner um, for their rehearsal dinner. And then this welcome party can be sometimes upwards of 100 people. Mm-hmm. Um, and they can be outside and they can be doing cornhole and the bars are outside and it's got that vibe to it. So that really became um, kind of one of our one of our niches in the past couple of years. Yeah. Wow. That's funny because we as photographers, th- that happens a lot. There's always a rehearsal dinner, a, a brunch the next day, a welcome party. We only yep. show up for a small, very small part of the whole weekend. A lot right. of well, unless we're hired for the rehearsal dinner which we do sometimes, but rarely the brunch afterwards. That's great. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I love the game day feel, you know, that whole Sunday fun day feel is, is cool. Um, as a, you know, as a, as a farewell to their guests, mm-hmm. you know, um, the cornhole and the games and the stack races and all of that. It's been kind oh, of fun yeah. and different and different. Yeah, so. like, a, like a family barbecue almost. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So the wedding is done and there's a different vibe to it. You know, it doesn't Never have the so same formality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And yeah. the Bloody Marys don't, you know, they help. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a brunch something that you do even if you're not hosting a wedding? We don't serve brunch because we do so many weddings. We don't serve brunch to the public very mm-hmm. often except for our seasonal brunches. So we might do, you know, one, we were starting to do one every month. Um, and then, um, and then we just, we ended up with some weddings and a couple of other dates. So we had to take a couple months off, but we start getting back into it. So we try to do a brunch every month as kind of a themed brunch, but not every week because mm-hmm. we do have such a, a robust event schedule. You know, of so course. Hard. It would be so fun to go to a brunch there because yeah. I, that's what I was thinking. birds, Could you, can you, can you sit outside? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. Um, Outside dining is, that's the other thing that COVID, uh, that COVID brought, you know, Mm -hmm. kind of a a bright side, if you can even say that, um, was out, was everybody's doing outdoor, outdoor dining. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It was really fun. We, um, thank you, COVID. Yeah. Well, there's always, you know, (laughs) there's a bright side to COVID for sure. Yeah. You always have to look for the bright side and that silver lining and outdoor dining was definitely one of them. Um, we, um, we have two big decks. And so both of our decks turned into dining rooms. We had during COVID when we were, um, we were only shut down, I guess in Maine, it was March to June. I think we were, I think, um, it, the mandate to shut down was, I think the 17th of March It was right yeah. around St. Patrick's day. Mm-hmm. And then we reopened June 1st. And, um, but we had, we had tables all the way down our front yard. Like it was, oh wow. it was difficult 
as we're getting older, it was difficult. Oh my gosh, physically, so hard for the servers. But it was really cool aesthetic, like having all the tables out there and having people be able to enjoy the grounds while they were eating was yeah. definitely cool. Wow, wow. pictures of that. That sounds beautiful. That does yeah. sound beautiful. We um we have a great team. You know, I mean that honestly, we couldn't do. You know, just the fact that our team has been there so long too and mm-hmm. not in a you know and sometimes that can come across as like a negative that they've been there way too long they haven't it's, it's no. family you know they are no. so good at what they do and they love what they do and it shows you know we can totally focus on our clients right. and on the guests and that i think is really the difference with clay hill is that we are very very guest oriented as well so that the couple can relax with with Clay Hill Farm and the right vendors, they can just have fun. Imagine right. that. Right. And when they, they don't have, have fun, to micromanage their own wedding, right. it's mean, a lot of work. I mean, they do enough of that on the front end. The right. amount right. of planning right. that goes into every single person's yep. wedding yep. is incredible. And so to also be thinking about those details still on the day of, that's yep. um. It sounds like you're really the way you communicate with your couples is actually really similar to the way that Kim and I work, which is a lot on the front end and a lot of handholding and comforting and like really showing them and telling them how we work and what we do and providing them some materials that they can look at and share with their um, maybe more stressed out family and guests that are going to be there so that they can also relax because, you know, when stress is coming to you from an outside source that can be even more stressful. Absolutely. So we like to like smooth things out before the day yeah. even arrives. Yep. Fam- family dynamics and nothing shines a spotlight on family dynamics like a <laughs> wedding, you know? So we can, that's where the whole, you know, relationship with your clients comes in and um, the counseling that we all do um, with our clients, but also to be able to take care of any kind of, um, anything that might pop up, you know, there are always what we call asteroids that are, you know, they just don't know that when you have your core group of vendors, like when we all work together, we can prevent those asteroids from hitting. I would definitely, I think about hanging my shingle as a, as a wedding therapist. I want to get right in there. Like, let's do it folks. Because they need it on your wedding day. Let's just go ahead and have a whole bunch of meetings on the front end and make everyone feel better for the rest of your lives. How about that? Would you and like let's that? just do some counseling, but the counseling part of it, the counseling and the psych head and all of that plays into this all the time. You know, the, oh, the sociology, oh the psychology, God. all that stuff. I'm really excited because I've never heard anything from your perspective before. And no one has ever heard anything from the, from the photographer's uh, perspective before. And the other people that I get out, we get on here. It's like, great. Wow. How long have I been doing this? I didn't, I learned a lot from, from, from you, you know, anyone that's been doing it, like we all have for so long has had thoughts of this. I'm so, you know, hats off to you guys for pulling it off and for doing it. Um, I've wanted to do a podcast and a, a wedding thing forever. And I, you know, I don't, I always figure that it's going to be after Clay. Yeah. Everybody has a podcast now, right? Everyone has a podcast. So everybody, but not a yeah. visual podcast. I love it. I love what you're doing. It's great. Yeah. Well, thank right. you so much, guys. Yeah. Bye, Jen. Bye. Like, 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 like it like that.